The U.S. Postal Service held a press conference today to address dog attacks on mail carriers. It's a statewide problem with several of those attacks happening here in Bakersfield. 23 ABC's Henry Flores joins us in studio with more about this ongoing hazard for mail carriers. Henry. According to the U.S. Postal Service, this year there have been eight dog attacks on carriers in Bakersfield, and the Postal Service wants dog owners to be aware of the issue. I self personally have been attacked by quite a few dogs and have been bit personally three times. Um, it is just them charging you, get your heart racing. It's, it's very emotional. U.S. Postal Service Safety Manager Devin Patterson says when delivering mail, some of the guidelines that they are provided with to prevent dog attacks are to be aware of their surroundings. And they even carry dog spray. But she says it's on the owner to prevent dog attacks. But when we walk up to a door, we sometimes will put our foot on a screen. If we know that there's a dog and they open the door, that also helps us. But nothing is 100%. It's always better for the customer to restrain the dog for us. <laughs> But this is not just a recent problem. According to the U.S. Postal Service, in the last five years, there have been a total of 53 dog attacks on letter carriers in Bakersfield. According to Kern County Animal Control, for dog owners that are not responsible with their dogs when a mail carrier is delivering mail, there can be consequences for them if their dog has attacked them multiple times. We find them, um, and then if it's multiple bites, and depending on the severity of the bite, we can turn it into a dangerous order. And then we seize the dog. They have steps that they have to follow in order to um, restrain their animal. If a mail carrier does not feel safe to deliver mail due to an aggressive dog, they can actually stop delivery to the assigned destination until they deem it safe to be delivered. Mail delivery can be interrupted for an individual address or for an entire neighborhood if the carrier deems it to be unsafe. And when mail is interrupted in a neighborhood, you will have to come into your local post office to pick up your mail and we could begin delivery after it is deemed safe. Patterson says it does not matter what the breed of dog is and that any dog is capable of biting. It could be anywhere from a German Shepherd to a Chihuahua. I mean, it's it's just and it doesn't even it, yeah, it's, it's all dogs. It doesn't even matter how big, or how small. All dogs have the potential to bite and and that's kind of how how we see it is even though they're friendly, dogs have bad days. Some tips given by the U.S. Postal Service to avoid your dog attacking mail carriers are to place your dog in a closed door room if you are expecting mail. Remind family members to not take mail directly from carriers as a dog may see the carrier as a threat. In studio, I'm Henry Flores with 23 ABC News, connecting you.